and I'm doing the typical YouTuber thing, drinking coffee while I'm filming this intro. <gasps> Hi guys! It's literally been ages since I filmed. It's hard doing your own thing and also still trying to be social and also be a dog mom and a good girlfriend and a good family member, you know. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> For today's video, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail and psh, you guys clicked on this video so you guys already know what this video is about. I copied Ariana's Instagram for a whole entire week. I know this challenge of copying celebrity Instagrams is a very old challenge, like 2017. Ariana posted this picture with Jungkook. There is speculation that it's an edit or if it's real or if it's fake because Ariana and BTS together in one photo. So I had to resurrect this challenge back from the graveyard. So that's why we're here today. I know some people didn't enjoy this challenge because some people actually unfollowed me but I hope most of you guys enjoyed it because I worked really really hard but I figured if I'm gonna go a whole week with posting not my own content and if I'm gonna lose followers over this challenge I am gonna make these photos look exactly identical to the best of my ability okay today's video is sponsored by not pot and not pot is a CDB gummy supplement that helps with anxiety sleep pain stress and other benefits like that here in California CDB CDB is more accepted than other places in the world. So I get it when people hear the word CDB, they automatically think of getting high, but it's not like that at all. This is mainly just a supplement that you guys could use every day, and that's how I use it. Both me and my sister use Not Pot. She uses it every day. I try to use it every day. I am a busy, busy person, and I usually get stressed out a lot. So this helps just to relieve any stress and calms me down and just relaxes me. Everyone knows that you can't get anything done if you're frantic and you're just like all stressed out and you're just a help to no one okay I also like them because they're vegan not like I'm vegan or anything but I mean it's one step towards not hurting animals you know and they're just so adorable look at these cute little gummy bears you can get a bottle of not pot by clicking the link in my description box and you guys can also check them out on Instagram also if you guys are new to my channel welcome if you guys want to subscribe you could do so down below and you can hit the notification <sighs> notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. I literally haven't filmed in forever. Also, I have a little editing tutorial so you guys could get the same look as Ariana's Polaroid filter. So stay tuned to the very end if you guys want to find out how to do that. And without further ado, let's jump into this Ariana Grande video. Okay, so for day one, I wanted to start off this challenge with one of Ariana's Snapchat selfies. My beauty supply store also didn't have a silver wig, so I just opted for a blonde one. I just figured I was gonna Photoshop it, you know? I honestly feel like Khaleesi's cousin from the Philippines or something. Luckily, I have two phones, so I can see Ari's photo and like match it at the same time, kind of like this. much after almost an hour of shooting this i think i got one that i actually like so this is ariana's photo this is the original that i shot without any filters and then this is my final photo that i ended up posting on instagram it was a little hard trying to get my yellow wig to become gray lavender day one's photo got 11,884 likes and 136 comments so i'm pretty surprised for day one that you guys accepted this challenge very well so thank you guys all right, so for day two, I actually started this challenge back in January. That was before I had blonde hair. I was still like full on brunette. Met up with Heaven first. She's my photographer friend and she shot my whole entire challenge. Then I met up with Ken out in Hollywood and then we decided to shoot day two and day four in a parking garage. We just thought that would be like the best way to get a nighttime environment in the middle of the day at like 2 p.m. Oh yeah, this is also before I had my insert name here pony, which by the way, that saved my life for this challenge. It was a perfect art. Ariana Grande ponytail, but before that I had to use clip-on extensions, which was just not cute at all But I had to do what I had to do to get the look. Okay, by the way, I got a discount code if you guys want to use that It's Nama Rose it was literally so hard to find a white car that could work for this look So we just opted for a black truck All my photos, I had to edit like crazy. We were in a fully lit parking garage, so I had to dim and darken the background. For this one, my TP set was just way too bright. So this is Ariana's photo, and this is the original that we shot. This is the final outcome for day two. Besides the white car and the location, I think we nailed it pretty well. Day two's photo got 14,407 likes and 105 comments. 
So day three, oh my gosh, that video, that one took way longer than I expected it to. I actually had to rehearse. I had to watch her video like a million times to know what she was doing. She had this little hop that made her hair jump. So I tried to get that. I tried to get the head looks. I tried to get like the smile when she smiles and so that was a lot. When I tried to film this one, they didn't have this Snapchat filter, but they had it the day before. Did I ever tell you guys how much I freaking love this baby filter? It's so cute. So I'm gonna show you mine and Ari's put together because that's the only way you guys could really compare. Plus it's a video. Sorry guys, I got flagged for using the NSYNC song that Ariana used. So enjoy this video without audio. Besides the filter, I think I did pretty well. I even DIY'd that outfit. It was like not cute. Day 3's post got 28,702 views with 88 comments. This challenge seemed like it was going on forever. I just really wanted to post my own content, but I'm barely like halfway there. I feel like I could have blurred it a little bit because it is a Polaroid photo, but other than that, I think we did pretty good. We even got down to Troy Savant's cheekbones. Let's go cheekbones, yeah. So that photo got 10,776 likes and 65 comments. The iconic bed shot. I absolutely love this photo from Coachella that she posted. However, I don't have this outfit because it's a performance outfit and I don't have access to a free hotel room. So we had to DIY this outfit, which I made in less than two hours with a hot glue gun because I didn't have my sewing machine. We also had to DIY a freaking hotel room, which was a little difficult. This is like Ikea for the Navarros. <laughs> so we went to the Steezy studio and we actually used one of their couches as a bed and we put one of their Steezy banners over the bed. We out here just DIYing furniture now, come on. The outfit itself was not cute up close, let me tell you that. It actually looked cute from afar and it looked a lot better in the photo. This is the most boo-boo outfit I've ever made. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable. She was doing like this weird like leaning pose. I can't really wink with my right eye. Like it just starts twitching right away. I wink with my left eye. This is Ari's original photo and then this is the original compared to Ariana's photo. I want to say we did a pretty good job. It looks cute but trust me guys I was very uncomfortable shooting this. This photo got 13,540 likes and 137 comments. So for day six, I wanted to recreate this photo of Ariana and Pete. I'm actually a Ari and Mac Miller fan. I love that pair together. Oh my gosh, this pose was the worst pose in the entire world. Because I had to like look this way, lift up my chin, but then they also had to fix Connor. So Connor had to be fixed, then I had to be fixed, and then I had to hold it. I did not feel cute at all shooting that photo. So this is Ariana's post with Pete, and this is the original, which by the way, we did Photoshop Connor's tattoo. And this is the final photo. I think we did a pretty stellar job. I think my pony could have done a little better. She was just not having it. She was just not cute. Surprisingly though, this photo in my whole challenge got the most likes and it came in with 14,676 likes and 136 comments. Day seven, you would think that my week is over, but I really wanted to post eight photos because of Instagram's grid. This one I shot by myself with a tripod and an external flash. Shooting it didn't take long at all. However, editing it took four freaking ever. And I think it's because it was shot on a Polaroid. So there was just a lot of colors, a lot of little aspects of the photo that I really tried to copy. This one doesn't look exactly like composition wise. It looks pretty good. Editing and the lighting and all all the filters and stuff. I feel like I could have done better. I could have darkened it actually a little bit. Oh my god, my fake ass lens flare. Pretty sure there's an easier way to do lens flares, but this was like the best that I could do and this is the best that I came up with. This photo came in with 10,453 likes and 82 comments. Also, I DIY'd this rhinestone hair clip literally right before I shot this photo, so I am definitely going to do a tutorial because a lot of you guys have been asking. My head has been hurting this whole week. Ariana girl, I don't know. 
know how you do it and I don't know how you would be hair whipping and performing. The day that I was waiting for, the whole reason why I resurrected this challenge in the first place. So this was my Jungkook and Ariana photo. My Jungkook for this one is my friend Robert. And we actually shot this one in Brea Mall in front of the Lush store. So there were a lot of people just staring at us. And also we didn't have an assistant to film the vlogging process of it. So I had to put it on the floor just so no one would steal my phone. Oh, yeah, nacho <laughs> Last day, we're here at Brea Mall. We're here with Robert. This Sorry, is Robert. Baby. Sorry ladies, he doesn't like girls. <laughs> so so sweet everyone said how great my outfit looked and how they wanted to see a DIY on it however you guys it was not cute at all it might have looked cute in the final photo but in person it wasn't even a full outfit it was like half an outfit right off the bat the color is completely wrong they didn't have the right satin material my skirt was not even a skirt it was just the remainder of the fabric and I just tied it around my waist my sleeve was half of my American apparel jacket that I just like had and like I clenched it with my arm like this so it would have that billowing effect and my headband was made out of bells so this is ariana's photo with jungkook and this is the one that me and robert shot and this is it with the final edits and the grain and the lens blur and all that polaroid looking goodness i think this one was pretty spot on i feel like we did a pretty good job on this one this photo got 13,787 likes and 217 comments i also edited this photo after the challenge because a lot of people said that the photos look so identical that was my whole week on instagram and as promised i have a little editing tutorial for you guys so as you guys know a lot of photos on ariana's instagram are actually from polaroids all the apps that we're going to be using are free this first one is the lightroom app we're going to use this photo to edit with since it is easier to compare it with one of ariana's photos so the first thing you want to do is hit the light tab and then you're going to go to curve so this is the curve right here i usually just press in the middle the top right grid we're going to drag it all the way down maybe like like halfway and then this bottom one right here we're going to bring it in a little and then bring it up a tad bit something like this and just like play around with it a little bit and then you want to hit the green tab and I like to hit in the very very middle and then for the top right I just bring this one down a tad tad bit to make it a little pink now you want to hit the blue tab for the top right one I slide this one up all the way probably a middle of that square and then for the bottom right I bring this one up just a tad to make the shadows a little more blue for the exposure we're gonna drop it down negative 35. So for contrast, we're going to drop it down about negative 10. Highlights, we're going to bring up to 23. Shadows, we're dropping negative 9. Oops, or negative 10. Whites, we're going to push up all the way to 22. And blacks, we're going to push up to about 4. Then you want to go to the color tab. We're going to drop the temperature about 12. Tint, we're going to push all the way up to 16. Vibrance, we're going to drop it negative 14. And then saturation, negative 9. Uh, we're going to fix the colors real quick. So everything is going to stay the same except for orange. We're going to push up the hue about to 4. And then saturation, drop it negative 3. Effects for vignette or vin whatever. I don't know how to say this. We're actually going to drop it negative 6. Seven. And then for split toning for the highlights, we're going to do 224 if you can get it exact and then drop the saturation down to 11. This one's a little difficult because you got to like match it. But as long as you can get it close, then that's cool. And then of course, we've got to add the grain because it is a Polaroid. I like to push up my grain a lot. That's honestly pretty much it. The only thing is that when you're working with Polaroids, it has like this little blur effect. The Lightroom and Photoshop apps don't do that. They only sharpen if you do want to get that blur effect which I like because I think it looks more authentic that way we're gonna save this photo as is and then we're actually gonna go to our snapseed app we're gonna open up this photo that we worked with and then we're gonna hit tools go to lens blur down here and then what you want to do for this is try to make the circle as small as you can get it just like as tiny as you guys can this is like the max smallest that you can do we're gonna do blur strength 11 and then you just want to hold down and then toggle it to transition 
bring the transition all the way down so that there's no more little halo showing. I honestly have no idea what vignette strength does so I bring it all the way down to close to zero because it doesn't look like it's doing anything for me. And then there you go, it like blurs out your image for you. This is the photo straight out of Lightroom and now this is the photo out of Snapseed. That's it for my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that little editing session that we had. I don't really do those. I want to thank everyone who helped me with this challenge. Thank you to everyone who showed love and support throughout this whole challenge. I love you guys all so much and you guys just had the sweetest comments ever. On that note, if you guys want to connect with me or see the photos on my Instagram feed, my socials are at the Nava Rose. Again, if you guys want to get your bottle of Not Pot, the link is in my description box. That's it for my video. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful week. Why am I repeating words? I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!